Let's uh, let's get a non-infinite combo of some sort going and see what happens. Do you like paying for transform too? It's kind of juicy. Oh my! Here's our path. Look at that. That's just glorious. That's pretty good. There's also one, two, three elites this way, but less fires. And this has no shop. So yeah, I'll pay gold for a transform too. Oh. Block deck go. We got not only a barricade, but also a ghostly armor for very efficient block that we can then retain with the barricade. That's pretty exciting. So this is bash defense. Now that said, the barricade is going to be a bit of an obstacle for a little while. Hmm. Early upgrade could make it a lot more manageable. I do like getting some early upgrades here. That said, another transform is also an interesting possibility. I think transforming another strike at this point is a bit risky. Let's upgrade. Start with the pummel. Yeah, let's go, Impervious. Get in here. Get in here. Now we just need a body slam, and this deck is slapping. Can't wait to die to the first elite. Easy. I did tell a bad joke, it's true. I'm guilty. Deserve to be punished for that. More block. No, I should probably take the damage card. Although Metallica is actually not bad here. Um, I think taking a headbutt lets us take an entrench pretty easily and lets us just do more damage in the short term. Also, this is horrifying. Have to let Impervious go. We need to play the bash on the Acid Slime here. But 26 damage turn one. This is the worst fight in Act 1, pretty much, bar none. And we didn't even draw well. So next turn we take even more. Big yikes. Let's actually do this. Okay, it's luck. If you can call it that. Can't even play this, but I have to headbutt it. I guess I didn't have to. Ugh. Brutal. All that, and I still have to use the potion. Take damage cards. It's no potions either. Okay, we're hoping Lagavulin. Nope. This is pretty good though. We can just impervious the knobs attack. Silvul next turn. Oh, we just kill now. Good. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. 
Shockwave is good. Singing Bull's pretty good. Hemokinesis could do decent damage. I think I'll take a Shockwave, especially knowing we're no longer fighting anything scary. I think I need to upgrade the Barricade. I'm already quite dependent on this. Being able to actually put it in play sounds real nice. Depending on against whom we're facing. This is also a pretty good just play shockwave situation. Thank you, bag of marbles. Oh, come on. Uh, 20, 35. Yeah, we can kill the middle one. On impervious. Dang. Okay, might need to rest before the next elite, but we're actually in decent shape here. Ocean belts at least night feel at least nice. Feel no pain's got some real potential. Just hoping this is not a gremlin knob, but worst case scenario, we do have a smoke bomb. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna roll to 50-50 here. Slime no, we're fighting Hexaghost. Makes me want to upgrade Shockwave. Easy. It's about time. Here we go. Good luck. I am the block lad. Now we gotta focus just on doing as much damage as possible, of course. As once we get negative strength, this will go a little, a little bit south. Easy. Get a shovel, letting us dig for relics, and I don't care about that because we have an entrenched Twitch chat. Barricade headbutt entrench assembled before the first boss. That's pretty exciting news. Trench says, double your block for two energy. Put barricade in play and start doubling block, and oh boy. You got the stew going. Please don't run away with my money. Thank you. Hmm. I thought this is tempting, but I don't think so. Combats are good for potions and max health. Event could be a removal or an upgrade. I'll take an event. Okay. So this is going to be something I've almost never done in Slay the Spire, which is defensively outscaling Hexaghost. Really, really cool that we can do this. 
don't want to headbutt anything yet. The seed says dig, it does. The power. The power. By playing in trench over and over again, we can accumulate lots of block. More than Hexagos can deal with here. Despite the burns, which are going to be a problem. Oh yes, are they ever. But palm strike. So here's Inferno already. We've barely done any damage at all, it feels like. And yet, with 168 block, do I care? I don't think so. What a hand. What a hand. Breath. Two hundred block. Here's the second inferno, nine times six. Add more burns, please. Burn plus plus. Spooky. running out of block here at the very end, but Bash is here to save the day. GG. What a toasty, toasty fight. Easy. Easy. And Reaper is tempting to get health back, but I'm super about Offering here. Offering gives us the upfront draw to get the barricade in play in the first place, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, Body Slam when? I'm sure we'll find one eventually. Hello, sir. Have you noticed I'm on fire? Why did the Ironclad take so long to beat Hexagos? Because his first elite was three centuries. Oof. Oof. Oh man, Pyramid. Pyramid does make the Entrench a lot more effective by letting us retain all of our cards each turn. I could also see Empty Cage being okay here. Dunk two basic cards. Um, and that'll make it easier for us to to draw the barricade in the first place. I think the retain will serve us better, though, especially as we add um, cards that exhaust other cards, and as we add more card draw to the deck. I'm going to take the Runic Pyramid here. Into the Slavers and get Wound Block? Well, guess what? I have a Smoke Bomb, in case that happens. Don't worry, we'll live. Not even the slavers can kill me. This is interesting. I don't think we're, like, particularly good at elite killing unless I find a body slam shortly. But uh, let's see what we can do. I'll go ahead and play this turn one. Chosen's not to be messed with here. Don't mind the days. If we can get a free turn, we can put the barricade in play. Problem is, a lot of the time, we won't have the turn available to actually do the thing that we want to do. Please stop. Thanks. 
Hmm. Definitely feels like we need a seeing red. Barricade Impervious, too much energy to play, unfortunately. That's our, our core problem, is we can't play both these cards at the same time. So I'm thinking this might be Shockwave Defend. We actually block pretty well in that case. Let's take two. to a kill. Rupture, Reckless Charge, Iron Wave. Reckless Charge, not bad, actually. Free attack puts a exhausting card in the draw pile. Not quite good enough for me, though. We could bottle that barricade. Here, I'll I'll take a little bit to do this though. That way we can do this. Foolish. I've actually outlasted the frail. That's kind of sad, actually. this to save the offering hit points. There we go. This is, this is an amazing fight. Okay, let's get the bash down. But at what cost? That's great. Dark Embrace. Hmm. A piece of a puzzle, but not one that helps me right now. Hmm. Theoretically useful. In the future. Oh, there's even a good path for it. I'll take it. There's the body slam. Okay, we have our answer. Do I add Prismatic Shard to this deck? Certainly I add Bloodletting to this deck. Bloodletting looks great here. That's our energy creator. So I'd have to skip out on the card remove. Ah, uh, never mind. Want the Bloodletting? And the Blood Potion. Choose one of 20, sure. Second Dark Embrace. Armaments, that's the one. Or Second Wind. Second Wind. Okay, now I can fight Elites. I can also read this book. Most of these don't favor me. This might be an instance where I don't want to. Versus four elites, two upgrades. A 
upgrades that matter. Body Slam, Dark Embrace, Bloodletting, Second Wind. Okay. Go this way then. Hmm, I figured I might see you three here. Very tricky. Pretty hard to not have to use a smoke bomb here. Incense Burner is a pretty sweet reward. True Grit, also very good. Although it does need an upgrade. It has an upgrade. Uh, just remove. Ghostly, Impervious, Shockwave, Defend, Entrench, Boom! Rage Plus. Play an attack this turn, gain 5 block. I actually like that a lot. Even though I'm not playing that many attacks, free block that ignores Frail. It's hard to say no to. Is it possible to, to create enough defense to outscale the heart? Not forever, as the heart will eventually attack for more damage than you can possibly block in one turn. However, you can last quite a while. It lasts quite a while. Try plant. I'm a ghost. And you're dead. I could maybe get behind a spot weakness here, but no, we have body slam, and I'm I'm quite confident we can get that body slam to deal essentially infinite damage in just about any fight. So I don't feel the news. This turn's gonna be fun though. Go. I'm a pain, impervious. That's it. Take a little bit here. Just a bit. for that later. <clears throat> Seems more or less fine after all. Mm. 
bonk. Art of War is incredible. If we play no attacks on our turn, gain extra energy on the next turn. Could take feed as a way to scale our max HP by eating our foes. Could help in the late game. Don't really want to put in the effort to set it up, though. Just going to take the two max HP up front and not bother. Not bother one bit. Get our block starter better. Alright, Collector, you're also super dead, by the way. We only take one health, because we're intangible. Easy. Keep the Articor energy. You can lose Ghostly Armor, just delete all the basic stuff. big bonk. GG. What's the opposite of an offering? An honoring. <laughs> I like it. Alright, we don't need none of this. Deck is beautifully refined as it is. I think we could lose the smoke bomb at this point. Sneko High would definitely break us. The one card, one relic we don't want to take. Philosopher's Stone gives enemies additional strength, but gives us additional energy. I think that's actually not bad. Uh, I think running cubes actually pretty good too. Whenever you lose health, draw one card. You can use that to get a lot of cards in hand very quickly, particularly with bloodletting. Just have to upgrade the bloodletting, and the running cube is actually amazing. Give me that. Do you know that we offer channel memberships now? Support the channel directly here on YouTube for as low as $5 a month and get awesome perks like a custom badge and emojis. But most importantly of all, I'll do exclusive Q&As, uploading a video response only available to members so you can hear your questions read in my buttery voice. Click the join button below this video to get started. Back to the video. I think I like this more than I like the energy, truthfully. Go that way. Adding extra draw to the offering, for example, is really nice. Okay. Looks like it's going to be a tough turn. Body slam. I think just one is probably ideal here. Seems perfectly fine. Another bloodletting. Hmm. That pretty much allows us to do whatever we want, huh? I like that. 
Can we take a second Dark Embrace? That doesn't feel necessary. Shrug? Nah, we're fine. Ooh. That's not ideal. Uh, what's on top of the deck? Fair enough. Second win is so good. Really happy we bought that. Ancient pot's good for the heart. Could have had the other bloodletting anyway. That's sad. What about the happy flower? Happy flower would have been okay there. It's not as reliable as another bloodletting is, though. Not even close. Dirty 30. Did delete the entrench. Certainly a choice. Elixir is very, very good, and so is a second in Trench. Oh man. Elixir lets us discard any number of cards in our hand. The second in Trench lets us redouble our block. And those two things combined are amazing. Do I consider a Madness is here? With a Dark Embrace, they're actually pretty good. Hmm. Could be a problem, though. I don't think I want to do this. Slows the setup, I agree. A little bit too much so. In fact. Turn to be intangible. Nice try, nerd. Kill right now if I wanted to. I don't feel the need to, though. Seven hundred block, by the way. Nine hundred ninety nine block. Boop. And another offering, which I'll take. Yeah, it doesn't feel so good when we're the one intangible, huh, Nemesis? That's right. We wanted to upgrade bloodletting there, actually. Poor giant head. Got no clue. My hand is full.
Centennia puzzles, even more card draw. That's pretty good. Pretty much don't want anything that isn't block or body slam. And Time Eater's gonna have a bad time. Transient's gonna have a bad time. Please draw me some cards. Here we go. Looks like I need to offering though. Jeez. Here we go. We get we did get barricade in play, that's right. Also, just with one body slam, Franzing goes down. Easy. Easy peasy. Double orb walkers, I'll fight them. Tough fight here. So to be willing to lose a few hit points. Want to, but I got to. There's Calipers. At the end of our turn, lose 15 block rather than all of it. That means we can get our block started without needing the barricade, which is huge as well. So now an acceptable turn is just impervious and trench and trench. That's good news. Good news. This is fine to start. I don't even need barricade in some fights, like this one. do this one without taking any damage.
energy potion over a flex potion. And probably upgrade the feel no pain or one of the bloodlettings. Do one of the bloodlettings. Not feeling the digs right now. I don't dig it. Ooh, double offering while intangible. You love to see it. Company. You'll love to see it. Double, double, get rid of this. Can we do an ethical run here? I think so. No cultist harmed on my watch. Incense on four, which is ideal here. Grr. GG, you nerds. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread could be followed out the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this blonk? You bonk the heart for 26 hundo plus and retain all that block. Oh, yeah. All right, chat. I'll, just for you, dig here. Classic. <laughs> Doesn't do a dang thing. But that's okay. I'm thinking toolbox card remove, personally. Remove the bash. Since the second wind can't destroy it. And then Toolbox will be one of three random cards. Do so I want, like, a Block Potion? Ancient Potion's good. Elixir's amazing. Fear Potion doesn't seem helpful. Take a Block Pot. Yeah. I ah, should have been tangible turn one. That's fine. Draw me some cards. this, huh? Very well. Play that next turn. With the Ancient Potion, I'd rather get later intangibility than early intangibility. So I'm going to set Instance Burner to two here, I think. No, not two. Zero, one. 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 Okay, set it to now. Kill this thing right now.
good. That's good too. Turn one Dark Embrace is nice. Let's draw a lot of cards here. I can just put the Barricade in play. Not much cost to that. It's getting played now. Maybe early intangible was better. I don't think it matters much at this point. Just one attack the draw pile. I would have appreciated being intangible here. Oh well. Uh, this might be time for the elixir to get rid of all this basic junk. Let's do it. Two, three, four, five. Seems good enough. I'm blocking. The perfect deck. GG, nerd. Bonk. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.